What's going on gamers? Dark Prof Gaming here and welcome back to another episode of the Journey to Rank 1. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and open our vault per usual. We're going to recap our eye level, the content we were able to do, check our process as far as um, our IO and see what we're going to do for this upcoming week. With that said, let's get right into it. All right, so starting with our eye level, we're 396 in the bags, 395 total. I'm just gonna put this uh, trinket that I normally put on for Mythic Plus. So yeah, about 396. Um, new additions to the gear. I crafted my Elemental Lariat neck at 405. Um, I'm missing just a couple of the concentrated Primal Focus, then I'll be able to make that 418. Um, let's see, we did end up taking those shoulders out of the vault last week. I did say I was going to take that, so I did end up grabbing those. Um, outside of that, um, I did get this ring uh, from M+, so that was an upgrade there. Um, and I want to say I got this belt um, this past week. Outside of that, maybe I got some boots too, since these are... Uh, I'd have to go back and check, but I think I believe I got the boots also. So those were the pieces I actually got as upgrades from the vault. I mean, I'm sorry, not from the vault. Uh, a mix of the vault from the shoulders, but the rest from M+. Um, last week was pretty... Uh, man, it was pretty tough. Uh, it was tyrannical. Got to see our first tyrannical bosses. Uh, but not only that, it was bursting and grievous. And man, was it a lot of healing required that week. So... Uh, definitely was a tough one, but we still managed to uh, get some keys done. So let's go ahead and recap. Um, so we timed a 16 tyrannical uh, Azure Vault. Uh, the 15 was pretty hard, but after I got the 15, I'd say like the hardest boss healing wise was probably the third boss. Um, it's a lot of constantly topping up, especially with Grievous um, after he drops the frost bombs on somebody. Um, not too shortly after he throws some more frost bombs, so you definitely have to top people off for that. So it was a tough dungeon, but overall was able to get a 16 out of it. Um, got a 15 quarter stars. Honestly, I just really wasn't looking for a higher one. Um, I just kind of wanted to at least get a 15 for the vault all the cross, uh, but definitely could have got a higher one. Uh, definitely will this week for sure. Let's see for Shadow Moon, another 15 there. <clears throat> another easy dungeon. Not too much to speak of there. Um, <clears throat> Algathar Academy. Now I actually have a video up of me doing the Algathar Academy. That dungeon right there took me quite a bit of tries to get it timed. I've had to go through several groups um, and it was really all just to get through the tree boss. Um, as far as healing wise, the boss wasn't that difficult I would say. Um, just you know, once you got your cooldowns in order as far as when you were going to CD. Uh, mainly it was just kind of getting people used to one clearing their debuff. Um, from the tree ad that spawns Getting people to do that and I tried to also help dispel in between that um, And then just not having players either get knocked up from the ad spawning or Just you know getting melee to death. So uh, finally found a solid group that was able to get that key done So really what really happy about that one Temple of Jade Serpent also got that out of 15 the first boss um, bugs aside uh, is actually was able to get that one done fairly easy. The trash is still surprisingly, especially before the last boss, is uh, is pretty pretty bad on tanks. So um, outside of that, I'd say it's fairly fairly easy dungeon. This Ruby 15, uh, yeah, that one was another one, just kind of like uh, Academy, to where um, it was tough finding a solid group that was able to complete it. But even the one that I did time, which was hilarious, the 15 I timed, we had a DPS, um, Shadow Priest, um, exactly, um, that had around, I'd say, 26, 27k of raw DPS, which was under the tank. So, not very good. We didn't have, like, super pumpers, but uh, we had two other DPS that were really strong, and the tank did quite a bit of damage. I think we had a prop warrior. So, overall, that really helped time the dungeon. The healing was really tough. Especially the first boss. Uh, actually, not much so the first boss. The last boss wasn't actually that as bad. Our group focused the dragon, and they were pretty stacked, so it made it easier for me to heal. But the uh, fire dots that you get were pretty tough. So, Halls of Valor, for some reason, still haven't been able to time this dungeon, but I did get a 16 completed. Uh, this one actually was very timeable, but I, if I remember correctly, I had a Windwalker Monk 
that released at in the last last boss area and we had two b resers in that group um, as well as me being able to just regular res him um he released like right as the mob was dying and so we had to wait about two two and some two minutes and some change for him to come back and i think we just i think we were we weren't too much over but this happened twice actually he released twice where we had to wait a few minutes for him so uh that was unfortunate but did get the 16 complete so there's that and then finally the knock offensive i only got a 12 time on that man that raging tempest boss i could not for the life of me find a solid group uh, for out of 15 i want to say i did around 12 to 13 15 to this dungeon this last week to try to get that time and it just wasn't happening uh like my healing was there it's just um one i couldn't get a group to stack for the elemental storms um and then a lot of the times like the tank uh, either we didn't have someone to purge the boss or the tank walked in with like no defensives and immediately died uh, on a couple of, it was a couple of groups i had where the tank just walked in and died i was like whoa um so i just settled for the 12 getting that time two chests to 12 and um you know eventually next week i'll go back in there and you know get that 15 or higher done so but that's it for our recap of the dungeons i ended up with 2154 as far as my score so i did get ksm uh show you guys the mount really quick in case you guys want to see that now let's zoom out a little bit close that off so here's the mount um it's not bad looking i do like the colors i do wish we had a dragon riding mount though especially since you know we're in dragon lands and we have different colors of our skin uh, especially since i looked at pvp and they actually have a when you get gladiator you have just another skin of the dragon riding mount so i kind of wish we had that uh, but all in all i got that so the next goal will be at least for this week to get 2400 so i can get keystone hero and so I can uh, upgrade all my Valor pieces. And so just to kind of check there, I still have all my Valor. I haven't used any um, from last week, and now we're up to 3K. So I, I, I think this week, since I'm really going to be pushing hard, definitely going to use that. But without further ado, let's see what we get out of the vault. Okay, okay. I don't see hands, which I was really hoping for. Well, actually, I lied. We do have hands here. Um, so I do get some normal hands, so that does mean I do get four piece tier set by taking these. But let's see what else we got. Uh, we got a head piece from um, Wraith, but I do have tier head, so I won't be needing that. And then I also got chest tier um, out of here. So that is also an option for me. Let's check our mythic plus side. From our 16 we did, we got a back piece that's 415. That's actually pretty high. And it has avoidance. That's that's actually really nice that's actually pretty enticing um some tier legs i do have tier legs but these are higher eye level and finally some bracers haste mastery bracers so right now i would think i'd want to choose between hands I, and i say hands because i think those are my lowest eye level right now 379 chest yes 389 so right now, I'd probably want to take the hands for the tier. But I don't know, man. This back piece with avoidance, 415, is looking really good, too. Uh, but I'm not going to take anything yet because if you guys didn't know, I'll show you, take you guys over here. Um, this week's um, weekly quest, I believe, is four mythic dungeons. Uh, you complete four mythic dungeons and you get a heroic raid piece of loot. So... Before you take out your vaults, make sure to pick up this quest, do this quest, because the last thing you want is to get a piece from your vault and then get the same duplicate piece from your heroic uh, cash here. And uh, yeah, instead of maximizing on two pieces, you only get one. So I'll be doing this first, seeing what I get. I'm hoping for, out of this, uh, a heroic piece of tier that I don't have, so chest or preferably hands. And if I get tier from here, which I'm really hoping for, then I'll probably end up grabbing that back piece for the avoidance because that's actually huge. Um, and I, I definitely could use some more haste. So, uh, but that's it for this week, guys. Stay tuned. Check out, check me out on twitch.tv slash darkpopgaming if you guys want to see any of my keys I do live. Um, and check back from the YouTube. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I will be uploading some footage this week 
of the keys that I do. As I said before, I'm gonna be pushing for Keystone Hero, which if you don't know, that's 20s across the board. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.